soon on the horizon. That means hunters will be filling the North Dakota landscape. But as KX News reporter Robert Sir found out, an odd type of game is gaining popularity. Behind me is the Rice Lake Wildlife Management Area. Now, a little over a month from now, hunters from all across the state will be coming to areas just like this in the hopes of bagging themselves a very particular type of game that you may not have thought of. Here in North Dakota, hunting is king. From big game such as deer to even tiny prairie dogs can be in someone's crosshairs. But we're quickly approaching the start of North Dakota's wildly popular swan season. Yes, you heard that correctly, swan season, more specifically tundra swans. Mike Zemanski is the migratory game bird supervisor for the Game and Fish Department and tells me when these swans migrate to North Dakota from the Arctic, so do hunters from all across the country and Canada. Typically we have applicants for our swan tags that come from almost every state and some Canadian provinces. One of those hunters is Rick Nelson. He's been hunting swans for decades and tells me he wouldn't have it any other way. They're really special to me. They have a flavor all their own, um, like all wild creatures do. I mean, I know people say, oh, they all taste the same, but they really don't. Swans have a unique flavor, uh, and I just enjoy the whole gambit of, of finding them, scouting them out, setting the decoys, calling them hunting them. Rick's been hunting swans for so long, he's pretty much mastered the art of calling them. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! Woo -woo! He adds swan hunting is much harder than you might think. They're not easy to decoy, right? And so the challenge is finding the right spot, finding the right conditions, getting your decoys set up in the right manner, uh, calling correctly and then making sure that bird is close. The Game and Fish Department tells me they started tundra swan hunting in 1988 with just 1,000 licenses. This year they hope to issue 2,700 licenses, meaning don't expect a swan song for tundra swan hunting anytime soon. Reporting for KX News, I'm Robert Sir. Game and Fish says tundra swans aren't only unique game available for hunting. There are also seasons for sandhill cranes, woodcocks, and snipes. The application process to get a tundra swan license is now open. The cost is $10 for in-state residents and $30 for out-of-state applicants. But before you apply, you must already have a general Game and Fish habitat license. Non-resident applicants must also have a waterfowl license. The Game and Fish Department tells us tundra swan hunting is getting more popular by the year. A lot of folks are just trying to cherish the opportunity they have to be in the environment, handle these birds, um, try to eat them however they want. Uh, some, some folks are interested more in the taxidermy aspects. They are an impressive mount to have, but they are good tasting too. And the deadline to get your application in is August 14th. Tundra Swan season runs Saturday, September 28th through Sunday, December 29th. Keep it here still to come on KX News at 5. The town morning. The